Hey YouTube, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be covering how to deploy a VPS on the node. Uh, just some brief information before we get started. This tutorial is targeted for beginners of the, uh, the cloud market, I guess you could say. And uh, yeah. Also, if you plan on signing up uh, for Linode for any reason, I'd appreciate if you use the refer link in the channel description just because I get a kickback uh, if you sign up for it. And that's a nice way of supporting the channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. First up, you're going to want to go over to the create drop down menu right here. Next, you're going to be prompted with a drop down menu that looks similar to this. Uh, depending on what features they have at the current time you're deploying, you know, whatever. Anyways, the only thing you have to be worried about here is the Linode button. Go ahead and click that. And as you can see, we're prompted with a little screen that looks like this. And uh, yeah, so here's basically where all the magic happens. Alright, so first, you're going to want to choose the distribution of your VPS. If you're just starting out, I recommend going with the uh, Ubuntu choice as I always have, just because I feel like it's a little easier with uh, with the beginners here. And uh, yeah, I'd go ahead and choose 1804, just because, as you can see, that's LTS, or long-term support. And uh, yeah, it's got a few more years until it's going to be deprecated, like uh, 1810 here in 1904. Alright, next up, we're going to want to choose the region of where we're deploying the VPS. And you're going to want to choose a location close to your house or close to where your target user base of the VPS is just because that will ensure that um, when they're requesting data from the VPS they're as close to the server as possible which will minimize, minimize, minimize excuse me, latency and, uh, and pain. Anyways, for me that's going to be in Newark, New Jersey. Going down we're going to see a list of plans here on the node. And as you can see, these are the standard plans. They also have dedicated CPUs. That's going to be for, um, as you can see here, full duty workloads. <laughs> uh, they got high memory VPSs here, you know, high RAM usage, whatever. And uh, yeah, they also have GPUs to accelerate highly specialized applications such as machine learning, AI, and video transcoding. Uh, so yeah, you're going to want to choose the option that best fits you. And if you're if you are a beginner to the node, you're going to want to go over to the nanode plan here and choose nanode. And this plan is going to run you about five dollars a month or uh, seven fifths of a penny an hour. But uh, yeah, they sort of hide the smallest plan over here on nanode for some reason. Uh, I don't know why. If if you're just starting out, a nanode server should be enough for whatever you're trying to accomplish. As long as you're not, you know, trying to do anything that requires a GPU here. Anyways, let's go ahead and scroll down to the next option. And as you can see, we are prompted with something called a Linode label. And uh, what this is, this is just a label of, um, of what you want the server to be called when you're in the Linode panel here. It just makes it easier to identify which server is which. So for me, I'm just going to call this server 1 because that's the first server I'm deploying. And you can also have tags here uh, that basically makes it useful if you have multiple VPSs for different businesses. And uh, basically you can tag each VPS for uh, depending on what business it belongs to. Alright, scrolling down you have a root password here. Uh, that's optional to put in. Uh, I'm not going to because I have my SSH key uploaded to Linode. But um, if you are new to Linode, you're going to want to up the, or uh, put your own root password in here. And basically, this is the password you're going to be typing into the VPS when you're logging in as root. As you can see, it is called the root password. Scrolling down, the last panel we see here is optional add-ons. And as you can see, it consists of backups and private IP. Um, if you don't know what a private IP is, you're probably not going to want to use it. Um, I will say that it is useful if you want to communicate over the nodes. Uh, if you want to communicate over the nodes, um, basically, if you want to communicate over the nodes network to other VPSs you have deployed on the node, it makes it faster than if you want to um, talk to your other VPSs over the public uh, backbone of the internet. That's what I meant to say. Anyways, since it's free, I'm going to go ahead and check that. 
And uh, yeah, as you can see, there's also also a backups add-on. And basically what this does is um, it creates a daily backup, a uh, two to seven day old backup, and a eight to 14 day old backup. So you have a total of three backups in, uh, in Linode. And Linode basically handles all these backups automatically. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool, especially if you're doing something that uh, that's critical that that basically always needs backups. That's a good option to enable. But since it does cost an extra $2 a month, I'm not going to enable that. And as you can see on the right here, there is a Linode summary. And basically, this just shows you uh, what OS you have, your region, uh, server plan, and the label. And then also how much it costs, which is very important. All right, lastly, you're going to want to click the Create button. And as you can see here, the server is booting. And yeah, you got, oops, you got a lot of useful information here. Uh, you got a lot of um, analytics of what your server is doing. That's going to become available once the server is deployed. Uh, you got a monthly network transfer, and basically that's going to be your uh, bandwidth cap on how much your server can, um, I think it's upload, I believe, but I could be wrong. Uh, or actually, it's both. It's upload and download uh, for the month. So uh, for the uh, for the Nano server, that's going to be a terabyte a month you have, which is plenty unless you're going to be uh, streaming videos for a couple hundred people. Anyways, as you can see, the Linode has been, or the Nano, excuse me, has been deployed, and uh, yeah. I'm not going to show you how to SSH into the server this video, but I will show you that you can just click Launch Console here. And as you can see, it's connecting via Weblish. And we're going to want to put root here. And so since I didn't use my local host machine, I'm not going to be eligible to use my, uh, my SSH key, which means I'm going to have to type in that root password I entered earlier, which fortunately I believe I know. And it looks like I do not know it, which is a bummer. Hmm. All right, I'll be back in one second with the. All right, so I was able to retrieve that password I created the server with. And what we're going to want to do is go back to Launch Console, keep it on the Weblish option, and as you can see, I was automatically logged in. But, uh, but yeah, just make sure you do know that password um, if you plan on using the web interface at least. But uh, yeah, so as you can see, we're logged into our server. We have a standard bash environment. Um, and yeah, I believe that covers pretty much all of the basics of deploying a VPS on the Nose platform. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know in the, uh, in the comments section. I do reply to pretty much all questions in the comments section regardless of what they're asking. Um, yeah, if you have a video suggestion, go ahead and let me know. But yeah, take care.